Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're just going to cover Python string base basics. Uh, this is a very brief overview of a string. We're going to focus on what a string is, how to create a string, and uh, a couple other key points to go along with the string. A string is a collection of data. The data in a string is in a certain sequence or an order. Um, data can be a text or a collection of bytes. Today we're just going to focus on the text because this is a brief overview and I don't want to put too much on you guys. So for me to show you what a string is, we're going to go ahead and bring up our Python interpreter. So open your terminal or your command prompt, type in Mac users, type in Python 3 and hit return and Windows users type in Python and hit enter. That brings up your interpreter and for me to demonstrate to you what a string is, we're going to use something called a print statement. I know we haven't spoke about print statements before, but it's very simple. What, what we put in a print statement, uh, Python will just simply print it back to us on the next line. So let's just go ahead and do um, print. So you type print, parentheses, and another parentheses. That's a print statement. Anything inside the parentheses is the argument. So let's do, uh, we're going to create a string now inside for our argument and that's gonna we're gonna do our first type of string syntax I should say our first syntax because there's uh, technically one, two, three, four different syntaxes you can use for a um, string so let's go ahead and do our first one it's gonna be a single quote and say hello world and close that out with another single quote and close out the parentheses and hit return we get printed back hello world. So this is our string. We gave it quotes and within those quotes we say hello world. Now this is just a, sync, a sequence, I'm sorry, I was going to say syntax, sequence of data. It's an order. So hello world, each character technically is his own data and it's in a specific order which gives us a sentence that says hello world or a string. So let's do another print. So let's do this again. And we're going to use a different syntax for a string, which is double quotes. Let's say hello world hello world again. And we're going to close it out with another double quote and parentheses and hit return or enter and you get hello world. Same exact thing. Same same exact thing returned to us. Let's look at another one. Print parentheses now we're going to do triple single quotes hello world and triple single quotes and close out the parentheses hit return or enter and hello world pretty simple right let's look at another one print parentheses triple double quotes hello world and triple double quotes and close out the parentheses and hit return and we get hello world and spell hello correctly but that is hello world um, so we just looked at the four syntaxes to create a string pretty simple to create a string now I want you to focus on these right here these will get into deeper in chapter four of this tutorial series but these can be multiple line um, strings just remember these can be multiple line strings I'm not going to demonstrate it here we'll get into it in chapter 4 alright so we created four strings here very simple to do and the print statement like I said we never covered this before but print parentheses anything inside that is the argument and then parentheses and it prints it back to us pretty simple alright so like I said Python strings come in a sequence or an order. So each letter is its actual is actually or each letter, number, space, or special character is its own data. So if you look at it here, here's a string. This is a string. That's our string up here. Down here is something called an index. The index always starts at zero. So in our order, T is 0, H is 1, I is 2, S is 3, and so on. 
so we look at it here and we can actually call and tell Python to return us a certain letter at a certain index spot. I hope you guys are understanding this. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up an interpreter. I'm going to do something called a slice. Don't focus on what a slice is or anything like that. We'll get into that in chapter four. Let's do print. Once again, I'm going to use single quotes. I'm going to say hello world. Oops. That's world. Having trouble spelling today. Sorry about that. Single quote parentheses. Oh, I forgot I was going to slice this. So I do a square bracket and I want to get the E. So to get the E, I need to figure out what the index is. So it always starts at zero. The index always starts at zero. The index always starts at zero. I said that three times to remind you. The index always starts at zero. H is zero. E is one. So we want to get E. We're going to put one and then close the out square bracket and then the parentheses and hit return and it gives us E. Cool. So basically what we just did there is we we went to the syntax or we went to the index, not the syntax, the index of the string and said I want whatever's at position one and it gave us back E. All right, let's try this one more time. Print parentheses hello world and this time we want to get the w so h or the beginning of the string is always zero so h is zero one two three four five six all right we want to get six we put six we close out the square brackets close out the parentheses and hit return and we get w so this is just reinforcing, reinforcing that a string is a order of data. It's a sequence of data. In, in programming, we say sequence, not order. So it's a sequence of data. These, each one of these letters is its own data. So we just went through and said we want the third position, or in our case, when we did that, we want the sixth position. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we got W. That's a sequence. And this is the index number of where that letter is living. Um, all right. So we'll get more into sequences and order of data in Chapter 4. Like I said, this is just an overview. Another important point they need to know about strings are they're immutable. We cannot change a string once it's created. So the only way we can change a string once it is created is by recreating a string. When we start working with variables, you'll see this. So, and in chapter four, we'll discuss this. Um, let's see. Let's just do one more string so you have a good under oh I know what I want to show you. I was having a brain fart, I couldn't remember what I want to show you, but now here we go. Um, when you're making a string, if I do a single quote and say hello, do it again, world, and close out the double quote and the parentheses, hit return, up oh, syntax error. We're also gonna have a syntax error if we do the reason why we have a syntax error is when you start your string. With a single quote, you got to end your string with a single quote. Because Python's going to go, all right, I see there's a string starting here with a single quote. I'm going to look for the next single quote. And it keeps going. It doesn't see the single quote. Next one is, let's do uh, print, print uh, parentheses. I'm going to do single quote. I'm a programmer. Single quote. Close it out and hit return. Up oh, syntax error. What happened here? Well, we opened with a single quote, then we closed the single quote here, and Python goes, uh, M. I don't know what M is. I don't know what A is. I don't know what P R O programmer is. And then another single quote, and it goes, uh, I don't see another single quote, so there's no string there. That's the syntax error. A way to work around this is if we're going to do print, parentheses, double quotes, I. 
I'm a programmer. And then close out with double quotes and parentheses at return. There we go. There's our string. So what happened there? Python goes, oh, double quotes. I'm so anything in here is going to be treated treated as its character. So I'm and then there's a single quote, so it's going to be treated as a single quote, a programmer, and then we close the um, quote over here. So it's like, oh, here's the whole string. Cool. That works. So that is strings and the basic overview of strings. We are going to dig deeper in Chapter 4 and learn a lot more about strings. So um, this, this was just meant to show you what a string is, how to create a string, and just a couple workarounds of string, strings. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on uh, our YouTube page or our website at learnpythontutorial.com. And uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial on list. See you tomorrow.